Good morning everyone. It's currently 3.55. Waiting on my buddy to get here to give me a ride. You guys know who it is. It's Noah. Only fans we call him. Well, I won't tell you his new name, but <laughs> anyways, as soon as he gets here, we're going to be uh, heading on a road trip. We got about a six hour drive to Eastern PA and uh, yeah, we're going to pick up the new truck. Well, new to me truck. All right. Here, set this in your cup holder. Oh. Well, you got a whole coffee cup? Yeah. Here, I got you a gift, buddy. <laughs> you gotta turn around here, they haven't seen it yet. Oh. Got Noah's uh, business logo you on there. stole my logo. The lighting in here isn't as great. What do you mean? Did uh, you have your light on when you pulled in? No, I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, I was gonna say, there was like zero lights on the front of this thing. Yeah. Well, anyway. You. That's cool. Yeah, here, we set my book in there as well somewhere. You're bringing too much stuff. Well, you gotta have a checkbook, no, when you're gonna go buy a truck, you know? Other than that, I need my coffee, or you're not exactly gonna wanna ride with me for very long. Yeah, I got a death wish. <laughs> All right, we're heading out four o'clock. All right, guys, first stop. Do you know where we're at here in Pennsylvania? Savannah Lane. Savannah Lane? Yep. Savannah Lane. We're, uh, what we got, about an hour and a half left? Yeah, just a little bit over. A little bit over an hour and a half, so a couple hours still. But first stop, we had to use the restroom and get something to eat. What time we got, Noah? It's 8.36 and resuming. Stop. We're making good time. We're going to enjoy your practice. I have no idea. We'll be back. So Noah didn't know if he turned my GoPro on. He has to also turn the mic on. So he made this awesome video. I was inside the notary office right there in this small little town, which I have no idea where we were. Uh, we just followed the guy. He said, hey, this is the notary we're going to. We went inside this house right here. And the sweet lady that does the notary here was awesome. But I'll tell you what, I'll explain here in one second. The Pennsylvania notary and... All of that deal is absolutely insane, and I will never buy a vehicle in Pennsylvania again, I don't think. I, unless, unless I send somebody else to do it for me, no way. But hey, Noah, we appreciate your lip singing here, and your, uh, you know, I'm sure right here he's saying uh, I'm about to murder Sean because, yeah, I was inside this notary office for about two, two and a half hours. So we just picked the truck up, give you a quick glance at the inside. Might give you some of you an idea, huh? Some of you give it just a little idea. Anyways, uh, pouring down rain when we picked this thing up, so didn't really do much filming there. And I will say I'll probably never buy another vehicle in Pennsylvania again. The title, uh, taxes, that whole entire process was absolutely insane here in, in Pennsylvania compared to Ohio. Ohio, you're in and out in like 10 minutes. We were in this place, I'm not kidding you, for two hours doing the notary, the taxes, transferring the title, all that stuff that we did here, insane. Like I had to sign paperwork and have paperwork forwarded from my insurance, uh, uh, stuff from my businesses stating that I was the owner and was able to make these decisions for it, have those notarized before they would sign the title over to my name and notarize it. Absolutely insane. I'm not kidding you. We plan on being out of here by like 10, 30, 11 a.m. Right now it's currently one, after one. So we're about two hours behind because I spent two hours at the notary. But uh, yeah, absolutely insane. I feel for any of you folks here in Pennsylvania that do anything with the title agencies or any any of the uh, notary stuff. That was nuts. I mean, insane. They had to call my freaking insurance because they couldn't find the insurance on the database. The NPIC or whatever it's called. Uh, I mean, it was just nuts. I mean, nuts. But... I'm glad it's done and over with. We're on the road. Uh, Noah's behind me. Uh, and yeah, we're about to put some miles down. We got just over five hours, five hours and 15 minutes, it looks like, back home. So uh, I'll show you guys the truck whenever we get there. Like I said, it was raining whenever we got here to pick the truck up. So yeah, give you one last look. This is Harrisburg, PA. And uh, we're on the road. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> Alright guys, so 
there's Noah. He's uh, we're an hour, hour and one minute from home. Well, from my home. So we both kind of know where we're at. And I told him, you know, go ahead and head a different way because where he lives is eh, 30 minutes uh, west of me. So he's gonna take a different route. Uh, we're close enough now if something did break that I could get somebody out here. It wouldn't be a problem or tow at home. Uh, just wanted to be real sure, you know, driving six hours roughly. And uh, I want to give a great big shout out to Noah for bringing me out here and uh, to get this and sticking with me all day long because it's been an all day event, like no joke. It's uh, a little bit after six right now, ETA. Uh, roughly a little bit after seven so yeah we're getting there though so thank you Noah uh, I appreciate it bud all right guys I hit a patch of bugs and it just obliterated the front window. So it's a uh, 727. I'm almost home, so. You hear that horsepower? Man, this thing ran like a dream from Eastern PA all the way to Ohio. So, you guys can obviously tell it's an Isuzu NPR. It's a 2008. It is in really, really good shape for a 2008. Low miles, 125,000 miles, or 127,000 miles now, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk you guys around it. I know the sun's probably right in your eyes. I wanted to get this done earlier this morning, but uh, I guess we'll just start right here in the cab, okay? So, really good shape. As you guys can see, nice rims and tires, really good shape on it as well. And uh, yeah, so this was a fleet company vehicle. This was number 15 of their fleet. Uh, so the way I understand it, they're getting new trucks. So this one was the next one going out. Offered it to us for a really good deal. And yeah, I drove to Hershey, Fredericksburg, PA area and picked it up in Pennsylvania. Big shout out to Noah Lellis for uh, taking me out there to pick it up. He drove me all the way out there in Isuzu. I'll give you guys an idea, okay? So roughly 14 hour drive out there and back. Noah's car took 80 bucks in fuel there and back. This took, I wanna say, just under $300 just to come back. So we started with a full tank. We had to fill up one more time. And then when I got here, I filled up uh, one more time, but I only used about half of that fuel. So probably 250 ish. Okay. So TQ wants to climb up in here and kind of just show you the inside here. As you guys can see, it's really small in there. Okay. You get a real good view of Sean out front here. Okay. <laughs> so this is me sitting in the driver's seat you got your steering wheel and all the gadgets yeah these are super complicated vehicles you get a lot of the uh new bells and whistles that you get with the newer vehicles like gps cd player here no i'm just totally kidding that's a cd player though for you kids that don't know the clock is wrong yeah, the clock is definitely <laughs> wrong. But what I do want to say is the AC works. It has power windows and locks. And uh, yeah, overall, just a, a really decent vehicle for an 08. To give you an idea, uh, this vehicle is as old as Miley. So Miley, 
You're now ancient. <laughs> I know Mike and Noah said they were jealous because I got some uh, storage up top here. I guess not all of them have that. But uh, yeah, go flip down visors. No mirrors. Nope, no mirrors. Don't need mirrors. Has a pull out cup holder here. Could use a little cleaning. Uh, little hook there. You know, has the uh, little plug in there for some uh, electrical. I really haven't even had a chance to peek at this thing, guys. Another one down there. Uh, no buttons here, so that doesn't really do anything. Probably for some auxiliary switches. You know what they call these now, right? They call these uh, uh, broke people switches. That's what they call them. So if you uh, have all these things that don't do things, they're just fillers. Those are for options that you couldn't afford. That's what they say now, at least. Anyways. So, so the clearance of this truck is 11 foot 4 inches? Yep. You'll see some tags and stuff in here. Like uh, right here, it says truck number 15, like I told you. And then uh, you can come here, TQ, I might be able to do it. Has the uh, flip down here for, you know, nice little pad for your computer or, you know, whatever. It is a three-seater, so that's nice. Yeah, three-seater has more storage behind the seats, which is cool. I do think uh, the back window was kind of pointless with this build, but I'm guessing they uh, probably don't all come with boxes and that's kind of like an accessory. So if you had a landscape bed or, you know, a different kind of bed back there rather than a box, you'd want that window to be able to look out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the inside here. Like I said, 127,000 miles. This has the uh, 6.0. I believe it's a Chevy engine, Noah said it is. Runs extremely, extremely well. Like TQ, fired up for him here. Let me show you guys. TQ is gonna give you a quick little start up here. <laughs> AC's on. Listen to that. Give it, give it a little goose, TQ. Okay, that's too much, TQ. That's sorry, too much. Sorry. Getting all kinds of excited. Oh, he didn't he did mention the AC worked, but I'm very excited that the heater works. So my goodness does the heater work. It it is perfect. I'm gonna plug a quick little video up here. Sean Boy is absolutely in love with this truck. He thinks it's like the coolest thing ever. So right now I'm a really cool dad and we're TQ's a really cool mom. We're driving it everywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't gotta put miles on TQ's uh Chevy. I don't gotta put it on my truck. You know, if we can put miles on this old girl, why not, right? Right. What's up, guys? So we are currently riding in the box truck. What do you think, Sean Boy? Cool. Cool? I think Sean Boy digs it more than anybody else. Yeah, anytime we go somewhere, he's like, let's take the box truck. So <laughs> we took the box truck this morning. We're going to go for a walk. Get our workout in. Yes. It's early morning. We're going to get it in. And I asked them if they wanted to come to join me, and they said yes. So... We're on our way. Sean's words, as long as we take the box truck. As long as we take the box truck. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I and they, taller. And the heater works too. I turned it on to defrost the windows. I'm going to let you guys take a guess at what we paid for this. And I am going to tell you at the end of the video what we paid for this. You can drop some comments. Uh, let us know what you think we paid for it. Anyways, let's come outside here. Let you guys take a quick look at the front. Very, very cool. Has the chrome, no damage, no accidents reported. <laughs> Normally the bumpers are always beat up on these things. So, like I said, really, really good shape. So I know some of you might not know, but I know all of my Zuzu friends, there are other models of these as well that do this, but uh, the cab, because the engine and transmission is pretty much up underneath of here where you're at, the cab here itself actually rocks forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So the way this works is you pull this little safety, I believe it is, and you pull this one at the same time. Maybe I push, nope, here we go. All right, so it's right here. There's like three different levers here. And then you pull this one, and then this one's kind of like an extra safety. And then you just lift her on up out of the way. Now how cool is that? So you need to come in here, check your fluids, anything. You got your radiator up front, uh, oil's right there, transmission's right back there. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, alternator. From what I've heard, guys really, really like these things. And they're super, super durable and very trustworthy. They're good vehicles. And uh, we went there with things to look for. So one of the main things is like this area up front here, because everything is condensed, this is an area where a lot of the frames will get just rotted in just really, really bad shape. This one overall is in really decent shape, okay? Yes, it has surface rust, but no rust through spots on it. So if TQ wants to come down here, we'll show you underneath here, take a peek at the frame. It's in pretty darn good shape. Everything was really kept up on, pretty much kept in a garage when it wasn't being uh, used for what it was being uh, uh used for originally and uh yeah now let me remember how to put this cab back down do you want to walk him around show him the rest of the engine real quick though sure. tq i don't know if you can get to that tag i don't know what's real hot or anything here let me see i'll zoom it in here for him and show him Oh, you might have been able to get it. <laughs> so right there's the tag on the engine. I can't read it. It's a little too far on the center. And I know some of these components are hot because we were driving it. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and put it down. And what you have to do is there's this little safety uh, lever right here. You got to push that in and then actually pull back a little bit on this bar watch your fingers and that gets it going in the right direction okay so now we got the cab back down go ahead and push this one back down and then you just want to double double check you want to make sure this hooks up under that bar this one's in place everything is latched the way it should be because the last thing you want is to be driving and hit your brakes and the cab flips forward i've seen those videos this box here is seven by 14 so 14 foot long seven foot wide and it was custom painted so it's actually black the box itself is black that's not a wrap on it they already took the wrap off of the front cab the back of the bed uh, all of that so the this is actually perfect for what we were going to do because our wrap itself for this truck is going to be black for the most part so this was perfect the front of the cab will probably paint at some point black as well or wrap it but yeah what everybody wants to see is out back here right we learned very quickly we when we went and picked up our first shipment of our spencer products the shoot blockers uh when we come back we got caught by a rainstorm so when we got back here even though we had everything wrapped up and sealed up it was all wet and it had a dust on it so we had to spend time cleaning everything before we could just package it up so heading into fall here winter uh you know brine on the road salt snow all of that we knew we did not want to be hauling in an open pickup truck and getting this all over brand new material and then trying to ship it out or clean it it was just too too time consuming so we knew instantly we needed to get something that we could seal it up in and keep everything you know out of the weather and protected and this alleviates us from putting you know 60 miles there 60 miles back every trip heading out there with our pickup trucks our newer trucks to pick those loads up So there you have it, it's a standard box truck. I will say in here, it is hot, okay? This is the first time I've opened it up since we left Pennsylvania. Right now I will tell you it is a sauna in here. So TQ, I know you've been talking about wanting a sauna. I got you, babe. <laughs> we're gonna throw on the sweatsuits, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna bake it out, all right? There you go. <laughs> Anyways, if you take a peek here, TQ, you wanna hand it to me. I do see a nail right there we got to get. Very good. So it is a box truck. I mean, has all the hangers on the wall. This is good for tying down different uh, things. It looks like maybe at some point they had some kind of shelving in here, uh, probably for, you know, different uh, parts or components. It does have a light up in here as well. And uh, I think that's the only light, I believe. Anyways, just standard plywood walls all the way around. Looks really good. Nice, solid floor. We do have a couple areas back here right at the edge that I want to take care of. 
But uh, yeah, overall, not bad at all. Get so. A little stowaway. Oh yeah, we got a stink bug in here. <laughs> so it's just a basic box. I mean, there's nothing special about it. It holds stuff, it hauls stuff, it has tie down points, and uh, it'll do exactly what we need it to do, so. One thing I did like about this is it has a locking spot on here. So we can put a lock on here at nighttime, lock everything up. We don't really got to worry about it, even though, you know, thieves are thieves. If they really want something, they're going to get it, right? But uh, yeah, come around. It's got a big, nice step up bumper on the back. Everything in this truck, guys, is in really, really good shape. Being a company truck, they took pretty darn good care of it. I'll be honest with you. Already has the mud flaps on it. Showed you guys great rims and tires and uh, Overall, the cab itself, it does need a good cleaning. Probably get it buffed out here before we go putting the logo on the side of it for the Spencer products. And uh, that Spencer products logo is gonna be boom, big and centered up on the big old box truck. So come around here, TQ, you wanna show them that side of it. I do gotta get a battery box cover. There's supposed to be a cover on this. So when we're driving, there's something rattling these. These little covers that are supposed to cover the box up. Uh, Got to get those so we can cover the battery up. Round to this side of the cab, passenger side. I don't know if we showed it yet, but, you know, normal wear and tear, you know. Looks really good for a 15-year-old truck, guys. I think it's in phenomenal shape. Uh, one of the main reasons we went and got it. And uh, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you think about the new truck. I think it's pretty darn cool. It's going to alleviate an immediate purpose we need for the product line. And then also we can translate it, transition it possibly to work for the lawn care and landscaping. So uh, I know some of you thought we were going to get a plow truck. This is not gonna be that. We're gonna be taking care of that here very shortly as well. And with our new business plan that we changed over, uh, trying to reduce overhead as much as possible uh, and buy trucks that we can buy cash outright and uh, put them into our business and use them. They have no payments on them. So I won't act like the truck didn't need some work to get it to look as good as what you guys are now seeing in the video. Yesterday, Saturday, I spent about three and a half hours scrubbing every square inch of this box because when they removed the wrap, it naturally left a film kind of behind on the paint. So I came in here with WD-40, left it in the sun, which heated it up and made it come off really, really easy. But it was still a ton of work. And I'll tell you what, my shoulders fill it today super bad. One other thing the truck absolutely needs is it needs a sway bar bolt, okay? We discovered the sway bar bolt on the passenger side. Right there underneath the passenger tire was broken. Uh, hence, when you'd get about 70 mile an hour, it would start getting some shake in it. But we're going to get that taken care of. Other than that, this truck is exactly how it came. How much was the truck? Guys, we paid $13,000 for this truck. And I could not be happier looking at what was out there. Uh, this truck was very, very, a very good uh, conditioned truck, low miles and well taken care of for the money. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Mark for selling it to me. And uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier. So yeah, we had a bit of a drive, but we got it taken care of. Got a problem taken care of here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Short and sweet for you. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Teach you out. Peace. Bye-bye.